We are supporting the first and only Jewish state in 2,000 years. We are not Vestal virgins. This is a country that has flaws and blemishes and that has made mistakes. But by any criteria, this is a country 61 years old that has absolutely remarkable achievements to its credit. Achievement number one, it is the ultimate place of refuge for our people. One million Jews from the former Soviet Union. 200,000 Romanian Jews, 200,000 Moroccan Jews, 60,000 Jews from Ethiopia. Every Jewish man, woman, and child that wants to come into the state of Israel can do so. Achievement number two, this is a country of seven and a half million per people, and this is Silicon Valley East. In computer hardware, in computer software, in medicine, and in agriculture, Israeli science and technology stand at the pinnacle of world success. Not bad for a small country devoid of natural resources. The student of Jewish history in the United States knows that American Jews learned the lesson early on. In 1862, for the first and only time in the history of our great country, a high-ranking government official promulgated an anti-Semitic edict. That's the infamous Order Number 11 by General Ulysses S. Grant, expelling all the Jews from the Tennessee Valley. A group of Jews from Paducah, Kentucky, made a beeline to the White House. They linked up with Jews from the North. They went to see President Lincoln, and that great and decent man, almost in the blink of an eye, rescinded Order Number 11. American Jews had learned a lesson. It does pay to get involved and to talk with those in power. But as everyone in this room knows, we didn't always win. On the greatest issue confronting our people in the 20th century, opening the gates of the United States to refugees from Germanic Europe and later German-occupied Europe, we failed. We could not open the gates. We simply could not get the Roosevelt administration to move in the direction that we wanted. And hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of our people died as a consequence. It was a different time. Anti-Semitism was rampant in American society. The unemployment rate was 26 to 27 percent. We were a divided community, and there was no APAC.